Hey, we back. I'm here on Discord and I've got a bit of a different video today. Now, I'm sure you're aware I know a little thing or two about bots. I've done quite a lot of bot videos in the past, um, but I have a reasonable experience on Discord in general, actually. Patting myself on the back of it. Um, and so we're broadening out a little bit today as I talk about Discord stickers. Um, because stickers, great, great addition, Discord hats off to you very cool uh, we have our sticker here where I've sent Gura spin in this server which is a sticker that I quite enjoy um, but if we right click on it there's no copy image option there's no save image as there's no copy link open original there's nothing um, how do you actually get these stickers um, because if you are the owner of a server or a moderator of a server you might want to add a sticker onto a server um, Presumably, you're probably going to want to take that from a different sticker somewhere else. They kind of spread themselves through the serves, don't they? So how do you actually gain access to this? Well, there's two methods that I'm going to go over today. Um, the first one is the one that's probably the, um, the easiest. Um, now, this is going to work for on the app, and it's also going to work for browser. Um, mobile i don't know i mean it won't work with this method there probably is another method but i don't know i'm afraid i don't need, i don't use mobile um but if you are on, on pc what you can do is you can press Control shift and i which is going to open up here a nice little tab um it'll default onto console uh, which is here and it show you a bunch of weight symbols and the weight symbols are accurate don't paste something into your console um, but this is uh, in essence exactly the same as your inspect element tool on browser which is why this is pretty easy to simulate in the uh, browser version instead what we do we flip over to sources um, and we can find our our Gura spin here now this is uh, automatically loaded in because i got it ready for us but if you want to find this you want to go to media discord app.net under there we have stickers and under there we have our stickers uh, so we have the the Gura, uh, just static image and we also have Gura spinning uh, what i can do from here is i can uh, open you uh, copy image url um, i can plug that into chrome um, and it's going to give me my nice Discord sticker that I can go and steal. Um, of course, I can just right click this save image as and then paste it into Discord all wonderfully. Um, so that's the best way to do it. Um, another way to do it, which is uh, pretty similar if you want a, a slightly different method, um, we can go for your a good old inspect element and click on the thing. Um, and this is going to find you your little uh, class here. Um, and uh, we have our source link, right? Uh, so what I can do is I can copy that. Once again, I can then paste that into Chrome. And as you can see, we have our Gura sticker. However, this one doesn't always work. As you can see in this instance, we've got the static Gura image. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. It depends on the state of loading of this image here. So at the moment it's spinning, it's probably going to give the right one. Uh, but if I click off, go onto a different channel or something, it's going to give me the static one. Um, which is not what we want. We want the uh, the moving one. So how do we go from this to the other one? Well, of course, you can simply wait for it to be the right one, keep copying and pasting, or we can go for our Google-old search Google for image. If I plug my search Google for image in, we're going to get, oh, well, there's a nice girl. I'll click on this one. We can go down another layer, search Google for image on that one, and then it's uh, not going to be long before we find ourselves a nice gif version just around on chrome the advantage of this is because this is not the exact version that you found on discord this might actually be a better quality one than the one on discord uh, if you have a plugin like uh, source now here you can actually go and find a higher quality version on a different site which is uh, pretty nice actually if you're looking to upgrade your stickers that's probably the way to go for it um, but note that this is going to be a GIF, and as per the Discord settings in here, if we look at uh, stickers, um, it's actually going to have to be an APNG to upload it. So you are going to have to convert it from GIF to APNG after you've done that, uh, which you can do pretty easily with some website like Easy GIF has a APNG converter up there, uh, which is pretty helpful um, and, and, and works fine for Discord stickers. Um, but yeah, either way, there's your two methods. Um, one a little more complicated, but 
potentially can get you the original image, the other one nice and simple stealing a sticker. Either way, they both work very nicely and you can use the same method to take server icons and emojis and whatever else you like um, from, uh, from your Discord viewing. Of course, stickers being the most important one because they don't have a button for that. Um, but anyway, that's all I've got for you today. So I'll leave this one here. Bye!